On today's episode, we have a guy who did not come to a conclusion, an entrepreneurial couple who's maybe towing the line, a listener disaster date where people hope they're marked safe from this weird guy, and OP getting someone fired has a nice little ring to it. Plus the debut of a new segment by The Amazing Underbaki. And for patrons, you get a Today I Messed Up and you don't want to sleep on that. Head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network to hear that bonus story, ad free episodes and additional content. Reddit on wiki starts right meow. What's up, Wikimaniacs, and welcome to Reddit on Wiki. I hope you appreciated all the uh, puns in the intro because they will relate to the story later. Um, I'm I am your host. We don't know the puns yet. <laughs> Doesn't Not make yet. sense to They us. will relate later. Um, I'm your host for today, the Punny Pinoy Giant. A uh, Giant. John. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> giant. <laughs> Gina. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. We need giant shirts. Holy fuck. Gina is crazy. Holy oh, man. Can, that, can Gina be the name of our fucking asshole plushie? <laughs> yeah, Buy your please. Gina now. <laughs> Yes, we created Holy something. Shit. Holy shit. Giant. Ooh. Oh my damn, I thought, God. I thought Sean had bad intros. God damn, this is how I checked out I am. Anyways, I'm your funny <laughs> Pinoy Gine. Gine. <laughs> Short for uh, Gina. Join as usual. <laughs> uh, how do you spell that? <laughs> J-I-N-E? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. Uh, Anyways, join as usual by my favorite bros, Josh and Sean. What's up, bros? Who that was a mess. Holy. <laughs> Shine was, is crazy. That's up there I with like a that. Sean intro for sure. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. I deserve that. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, before we kind of get to our we episode. We need giant today, merch. Well, I can't even fucking think we need straight giant merch. until we fucking have- <laughs> Giant on something. I don't even know how to spell giant. Sean's just saying, <laughs> seeing dollar signs. Oh my holy <laughs> shit. I've never seen this man spit laughing. So giant? That's-, <laughs> that's fucking wild. That's it for this week, actually. We'll see you guys oh, on done. Friday. We're done. Yeah, yeah. We'll say bye to John or giant. Sorry. Giant. <laughs> holy shit. Hey, boys, Ooh. I think we have a special announcement we have to make. Ooh. We do. We giant. So, <laughs> we giant. We're, we, giant, Wicked take Maniacs. it away. <laughs> All right, Wikimaniacs, on December 2nd, on December 2023, giant. 2023 giant. Saturday. Oh, we need the date. It's the second. <laughs> this part is December actually important, John. Shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> December 2nd, 2023, and that's a Saturday, <gasps> 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So early. You should join us <laughs> on our live stream where we will be live from Houston, Texas. <gasps> Boy, Woo! we're finally going to meet, baby. I'm going to get a tan. <laughs> uh, it's cold around this it's time. <laughs> zero <laughs> degrees <laughs> here today. Don't talk to me uh, about cold. Yeah. Uh, true, 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 true. Not that that's right. cold yet, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm heading down to the see the boys and we're going to do some episodes together, but we're going to do a live stream. Yes. Um, yeah. We're going to do some stories. The boys are going to feed me some food. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to rank some it. Some boosies. Yeah, I think I'm going to rank it. I think that's what the plan is, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, John, uh, tell them the, tell them the details. Where can they sign up? Uh, how much does it yeah, cost? So, All that kind of stuff. So, we will have an Eventbrite page where you can purchase tickets. Tickets will be ten dollars. Uh, you know, just to cover our flight costs. Uh, uh, flying Josh is very expensive, and they yeah. gotta fly my fine ass there too because I'm not driving. Um, so <laughs> we have to get like an Airbnb because my house is. Uh, is yeah. not is not. Uh, uh, Nancy would be mad if we showed our house in front of. The millions and millions. Thousands of people. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So the event bright page will be up on our socials. We'll also have it on our um on show notes and everywhere else too. 
And if you're a patron, be sure to uh, check the Patreon page. We'll have a special discount code for you guys. So that's also an enticement for for non-rich and non-patrons to sign on over if you want that uh, cool discount. So again, December 2nd, 2023, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's a Saturday. Y'all better be off work, hopefully. So join us. Going to have lots of fun. We're going to make Josh try a bunch of shit. And uh, we're going to hunt us. Abbott live on stream. <laughs> Three versus one. Nothing <laughs> will stop us from finding you, bitch. <laughs> you're going to see us like you're going to see us gush over each other because it's the first time we're ever meeting in person. So like it's going to be exciting. It'd be cool. We hope to see you guys there. I'm very yeah. excited. I'm very excited. All three to of us on one in one room on one Two video. Jo- Josh won't have making? to splice three videos together no. anymore. It'll just be one. And we're going to be showing full Jine. You better fucking believe it. <laughs> full frontal Jine. You won't Holy. believe it unless you get you know? tickets. Uncensored. Unless you Jine us. Uncensored Jine. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh fuck. Uh, well, I don't even want to fucking host anymore, guys. That's, <laughs> that's no. the bit for this. this is, we should make this our promo. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is it. We just clipped this. this <laughs> let's fucking clip this part. But anyways, that's an announcement. Check it out on the show notes. All the info is going to be there. Follow us on social. Discord is going to be there. Patreon is going to be there. We're excited. So we'll get to the episode. So uh, first story. Y'all ready, boys? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, something about coming. In All this right. One. <laughs> it is. Coming in. Speaking gine? of Jine. <laughs> yeah, speaking, speaking of, of Jine for this episode. <laughs> so this story is cross posted by N Paralis 18. I feel like they're a, 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 I've never used them before. So it's the first time. Hopefully you listen. Okay. Um, this is not from Reddit. Ra- oh, it is from Reddit, but like it's screenshotted. It looks like an Instagram page of crazy bitch probs okay. and um, a username named Kyle, and of course it would be a Kyle. Of course. Yeah, what a stupid fucking name Kyle is. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kyle here. Uh, they asked this very important question. Mm. Do women actually orgasm? Yeah, you're not the first one, Kyle, that uh, uh, we've shamed fuck. on this fucking podcast. Doesn't fuck, is my yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus. this is what Kyle posted. You can't find the giant. <laughs> can't find the giant. Does the giant <laughs> actually exist? <God. laughs> Jesus. I hate this for me right now. Uh, there is no conclusive physiological evidence of it. Men are very clear, obvious, but women, not so much. One thing is clear. Women are taught that they are supposed to to orgasm. Perhaps it is an unreasonable myth. That would help explain why so many women are sexually, quote unquote, unsatisfied. And no, it's perhaps it's crazy to you. fucking just out yourself like this. Yeah. This is wild. Just like, damn. You just really this posted big, this? This is big Ben Shapiro vibes. Bro. Oh, true. <laughs> if your um, pussy is wet, you should get that checked out. <laughs> crazy you um, said that. <laughs> perhaps because they are expecting some defining moment like men have maybe a woman's sexual experience is just totally different from a man's i will study the issue further you've studied I, enough actually yeah, i don't <laughs> think you will i think you've studied enough <laughs> to realize maybe it's a you problem but yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. truly <laughs> where uh with that said uh a user emma pashmina uh, commented, that's a lot of words for I've never made a woman orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> which, that's what he's saying, basically. <laughs> which is true. Oh, man. Just care about your partner, whoever you're having sex with. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's like, I wonder if women experience sex differently. Obviously, they have different parts. So yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, you have to figure out how their parts work and make them finish as well. <laughs> got to figure out how their giant works. Yeah, know? exactly. Exactly. <laughs> See what that giant do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that's the shirt. What that giant do. 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh, I thought what that so giant many. dude would come from John, not Josh. That's crazy. Uh, so many possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. We must move on. Uh, well, I did want to read some of the comments that uh, people from our subreddit uh, commented on, and they uh, move difficult. Nineteen oh eight, but. I wonder how many men he's going to interview as he studies the issue. <laughs> Have you made a woman come? Have you made a woman come? <laughs> and then um, I love this username. NSFW lower score. Send butt pics, please. Um, they put, I will study this issue further. With whom, my guy? Not only did you have no problem outing yourself as a sexist, but he also admitted to simply sucking in bed. I don't know about you, but in my experience, humans tend to like being treated well before agreeing to intercourse. Yeah. LOL. Yes. Which is. I mean, true. <laughs> it's so crazy that he chose to type this out, read it and was like, <laughs> all right, maybe before I hit submit on Reddit, I could probably just Google this. Right. Because like. <laughs> Surely I could find That's a free something. resource. Like, that's, dude, the, just, that's the Tate way, Sean. You just, you mm -hmm. em emphatically announce to the world that you are an insecure man and, <laughs> and, and that it's not your fault. Uh, I've that's... never made, a, this guy's logic is I've never made a woman come. So like women just Therefore, don't come, exist. right? Therefore like, they just, don't come. That just doesn't happen, right? That's all <laughs> fake news, right? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Side note, I want someone to make the, the username NSFW send giant pics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what a bit. God. What a bit. We're going to kill that. this bit in 10 minutes. No, this, gonna shut the By fuck the end up. of this episode, everyone's going to be like, I'm sick and tired of giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next story. And this one is uh, cross posted by uh, Ninth Star from r slash true off my chest and uh shout out to uh barefoot contosa uh, hey. also a patron i believe and also active on venmo Discord. so also active venmo on venmo too. yeah yes uh i feel like they'd appreciate this story and i think sean's gonna appreciate this story too so um the title is i sold a guy 120 dollars worth of pictures of my husband's feet <laughs> hell fucking yeah <laughs> Bunions and all. Him, Let's go. <laughs> a random dude sent me a DM on IG saying I look good and wanted to see more. Wait, is this a personal story from the Barefoot Contosa? No, no, it's not. I just said okay, shout out, to, like, shout out to them. Yeah. I feel like they'd appreciate this story. Yeah, yeah. I think they would. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a random dude sent me a DM on IG saying I look good and wanted to see more, etc. Average Tuesday for most women online. Jesus. I usually just block and ignore, but this guy was straight to the point. He said he was dying to see a picture of my feet, since I don't ever post them, and he was willing to pay for it. The main reasons why I never post them are, one, there are creeps like these guy everywhere, and I don't like the idea of a random dude yanking over my feet. Two, my feet are ugly, like Sasquatch ugly. Are they bunion husband, ugly? No. <laughs> Let's not speak on it then. <laughs> Dude, I have really ugly feet. I fucking hate my feet so bad. Actually, I hate feet in general. So like, I'm not. Yeah. What is what's defined an ugly foot? Because like, all feet just, are kind of not great. I think they're just a pet. Like, I don't think about them as attractive or not. You know what I mean? They're just yeah. there. <laughs> they're like hands. Well, I'm not like my feet are filleted, so like they're not cute. <laughs> filleted. What does that mean? Like, I had like cut surgery the fuck on my. Foot. Oh, oh yeah, God. it's like okay. a full that on big sense. ass scar. Like it's a giant. Oh, okay. giant scar. Essentially. No idea what you meant by that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, what do you mean? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my husband, on the other hand, has a pair of quote unquote princess feet. Hey, Seriously, yeah. he has the cutest feet ever. <laughs> they are really feminine, and he took and he takes good care of them. I jokingly told my husband about the guy who DM'd me, saying I should take pictures of his feet and sell them to him. He laughed, but then said. Do you think he would fall for it? <laughs> <laughs> this is how your husband's fucking foot finder account gets. It, yeah, his own you know? starts up. Like, hey, <laughs> let's get it, brother. You found your first customer. Yeah. There you go. Manage that shit, brother. Um, we decided to try our chances, and I replied to this guy, saying I would send him a picture for $20. He was pretty quick and paid me. 
Damn, just like that, needing it that bad is, you know, <laughs> crazy. crazy. <laughs> Feed her online for free. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's the custom of, it's the, the customness of it. Of it. Yeah. 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 I guess. Feels personal. I um, I then shaved my husband's legs near the ankles, took a pretty nice picture and set the guy. Well, the guy was more than happy apparently and said he was willing to pay $100 for a pack. A pack. <laughs> Me and my husband couldn't believe this was actually happening, but we accepted it. I painted his toenails and made him wear some skinny jeans and yoga pants. The guy paid us and I delivered him the pack. He seemed like he liked the pictures a lot, a real lot, because he's asking for more now. Hell yes. my ass off. <laughs> There's your mortgage. <laughs> Just keep you know? ranking that up. Dude. Oh. That. The way I would sell my fucking I would fucking so fast. Yeah, I was going to say, so I fast. would be fucking selling a bunch of these. I would make my account right now if I knew I was <laughs> yeah. good. 120? I, I I'll, mean, create an, I'll create an LLC. You know what I mean? Like get pedicures like on a weekly basis. Dude, fucking, fucking write that off. I love pedicures, bro. We should get pedicures. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got one recently this year uh, oh, for the first time. Damn. Um, it's fucking awesome, right? It was good. And then, so my toes are kind of fucked up because like I played soccer for so long mm. that my, mm. my, I get ingrown toenails really easily if you mm. don't cut it the right, exact right way. And they did uh. not. So I had really bad ingrown toenails for, <laughs> oh. for not to be too gross, but for like a month. If you uh, want to so make it, it more rough. gross, the first time I got a pedicure and you know how they like shave the callus off of your toes. I was oh, in yeah. martial well, arts. Actually, like Parmesan. Dude, it was, I was like, yo, look how much cheese is on my fucking feet. This is crazy. Say when. <laughs> yeah. Say when. Say, yeah, that's bone. exactly how I thought. I was like, oh my God. This is crazy. That's probably me right now, to be honest. Yeah. I haven't had one in a while. Um, well, I think you're going to like this because we always joke around about no one knows us in our subreddit, but someone, uh, Mary Jane, 1986 posted, Sean would definitely love this one. So Sean. Hey. Uh, hey. And then you right under that, it. somebody replied to who is Sean? Who what is the fuck is Sean? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> and then, uh, just not having it, uh, commented gender is a construct. Sexuality is a fluid and porn is fantasy. Rent, however, is very real, <laughs> which is, uh, it do be facts. Beautifully said. That is <laughs> wonderfully describes uh, 2023. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, rent prices are oh, crazy. Oh, my God. But anyways, uh, we're going to take a quick break, decompress from all the Gina jokes that we just uh, <laughs> just said, and I'll uh, we'll be right giant. back. Just giant. giant. Oh, yeah, giant. All the giant jokes. <laughs> we'll be back. I'm sick of it. And we're back. All right. We're burning through these stories pretty fast. So story number three, this one is actually a listener submitted uh, on our subreddit, r slash uh, reddit on wiki, by the way. Whoa. Uh, and this is a disaster date <gasps> posted by Hot Mess 002. Midscore said we should do more. And when Midscore requests, we oblige. I think Midscore it's three weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row with Midscore. See, it. we listen to you because you're the GOAT. <laughs> this is your subreddit, so you tell us what yeah. to do. Direct. Yeah, you've um, honestly made a bigger community than we have. It's kind of wild to think <laughs> it's, about it. It's like, true. Truly, the, you're, the bigger, uh, you're the bigger celebrity than any of us three. You know what I'm talking about? That's true. Exactly. All right. So uh, the story goes as this. A few years ago, I went on a first date with a guy I was talking to through a dating app. I was 22 female at the time, and he was 24 male. Let's call him Mark. We had only talked for a day, and he had suggested meeting up. I was at the point in my life where I was trying to put myself out there more and not be such a recluse, so I said yes. We met up for a late afternoon coffee, and we ended up walking around and talking at the nearby park. Mark was a Christian Filipino guy. <gasps> God damn. If you know the type, then you know. Oh, I know the type. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> just, oh, just God. God. Oh, we flamed the Kyle already, and now the Christian Filipino guy. Are you guy. mad at me, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you mad at me? Uh, no, I love you, buddy. Love um, you too, man. He wanted me to go to his local church one day so I could hear him play guitar. 
he he was also sad he didn't bring his guitar so he could sing me a song. Uh, it's I giving me guarantee the, it's the Barbie, the Barbie, scene. Barbie, the yeah. Barbie scene. <laughs> like I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for all my Filipino American Wikimaniacs, I can almost guarantee you I know exactly what song this guy is gonna fucking play for <laughs> at church oh. or. Probably just a song and a guitar in general. Yeah. Uh, Lemonade by Passion. By Lemonade Passion. by Passion. The See? Filipino American national theme, anthem. Theme song. Yeah. The is national it? anthem. She's for my sunshine in the rain. She's my Tylenol when I'm in pain. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard this. I'll tell you what song. she means to me. Ooh, baby. Let's go. Hell Anyways. Yeah. Um, Actually, right Josh bat, would probably like this song. It's acoustic. That's a great song. I'm looking at it. I love up. that song. It's uh yeah, it's uh by Passion. It's called Lemonade. My dance crew opened up for him one time. What's up, Passion? Ooh, you crazy. may or may hey, not remember me. To... Definitely don't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> um, right off the bat, I knew I wasn't feeling it, but I kept telling myself I had to try and make an effort. Plus, I'm funny enough to entertain myself and carry the conversation. After about an hour of talking, I was ready to leave, but he insisted on get- getting dinner together that night. I said no. I was going to eat dinner with my parents, but he kept insisting. He asked, what can I do to get you to say yes? I said, the only thing I'd want is probably chicken nuggets. So he (laughs) said he would get me chicken nuggets if that meant we could keep talking. Oh, peace for me Uh, for real. (laughs) (laughs) With sweet and sour sauce, not barbecue. Yes, Sean. Sean. Was that an ad lib or was that in the story? That was in the no, story. No, that was an ad lib. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Where are my tangy barbecue heads at? <laughs> silence. <laughs> deafening, <laughs> deafening silence. Uh, here's where I fucked up and thank the gods that it did not take a turn for the worse. I was stupid and I got in the car with him and let him take me to McDonald's. At the drive through he stops the car. Oh my god! And Did he order around? Oh, I thought this was gonna be a lot funnier. I thought you were gonna say he ordered tangy barbecue sauce, and that's when <laughs> that's when she was and like, I, "This no, date is I over." I jumped out of the car. <laughs> yeah, he did a he did a like he did a Mac, Mac backup. Like Mac- he's that was a tough fucking one. crazy. A little that bit was of tough. A, that was tough. Oh that was my a, god! That was a giant. My Filipino line. side is starting to <laughs> show up. Um, he says, "Actually, I don't want to get you chicken nuggets." I actually want you. I actually want to take you out to a nice restaurant on the other side of town. This nope. is your first time meeting, bro. Y'all just started talking. Mark, the Filipino guy, brother. Yeah, stop relax. rushing things. You can you can have a date some other day. <laughs> Seriously, um, I was internally screaming. I firmly said no and demanded he take me back to my car. Now, luckily, he did, and I got home safe without issue. I immediately messaged him on a dating app and told him that I appreciated meeting him, but that I was not interested and did not feel the need for us to continue talking. He didn't like that. I want. Uh, he didn't like that I wanted me to give him more chances so I could get to know him better because he really liked me. Again, we had talked for only one day, and I blocked him on a dating app and thought that was that. And this is when things get a little tangy, like oh, Sean's no. barbecue. Um, a few days later, I get a, re- a friend request from Mark. On Instagram. Oh. Take the hint, Mark. But the dating app did not have my last name or any links to social media. And also, my Insta account is private. I declined, but he continually tried to add me for months. A few months after that, I was talking to one of my girlfriends, Annie, 21 female, about bad dating experiences. I told her about Mark, and she said she also had a bad experience with a Filipino guy named Mark, too. Oh. She worked with him and he would constantly corner her at work to ask her out to lunch dates. Annie said her friend Lisa also had a bad experience with a guy named Mark. Lisa commuted on one bus route in the mornings and Mark would see her, uh, would see her and sit next to her and try to talk to her despite all the open seats. It got to the point Lisa was so uncomfortable she had to change her commute route. Jesus. Annie and Lisa were talking about it one day and they realized... It was the same Mark. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what are the odds it's not? <laughs> That'd be crazy. When I had told Annie about my story, she showed me a picture of him. And it was the same Mark for me too. Sean, you're going to love this. Turns out he was 32, not 24. Oh. 
which was why Annie felt uncomfortable with him at work. He got moved to a different department, so she doesn't want to. Uh, so she doesn't have to see him anymore. But yeah, wild. Anyways, ladies, don't get in cars with strangers. Don't date Mark. Marks. <laughs> <laughs> Who are, who's the names in our no-no list? Marks. Todd. Todd's. Todd's. Hunters. I think Jine's on there now. <laughs> Jine's in there now. <laughs> Jine might be a win. <laughs> oh, it might be a win. Yeah. We'll Kyle. See. Kyle. Oh, yeah. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take it easy. Oh, dude, that's so creepy. Like, like trying to date someone who is ten years younger than you is, uh, well, not date corner and creep out mm-hmm. people that are ten years younger than you is crazy. Part of me is like absolutely terrified that he's only like he found your friends and is trying to get your friends so he can get to you. It, See, that's where is, I thought the story was going. Ooh, to. Yeah, that's where I yeah, because I was like. There's no way it's a coincidence, right? But maybe it yeah. is, but it sounds pretty terrible. Stalkerish. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I mean, I assume he didn't get a job at your friend's workplace just to get to you. I'm sure he probably worked there already. And it is probably a coincidence, but it's not great. Uh, yeah. This guy is uh, making Filipino Christian dudes look pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't you know. You hate to see it. Yeah. You hate <laughs> to see it. Giving us an already worse rep. Just think, what I, we've would barely Jesus recovered do? from the fucking Tumblr swagapino <laughs> days. Uh, <laughs> y- y- we can't what be doing that? this. Man. Swag. Something we Asians got, Josh. Is that what it stands you for? You were never on fuckyeahfilipino.tumblr.com, brother? <laughs> Surprisingly, no, I was not. Crazy. Yeah, you were never in Fuck Yeah Filipino Cuties, Josh? What the fuck? No. <laughs> hey, Loki, one of my fucking, uh, not one of my homeboys, but somebody that I danced with in the dance community was was on like, was the cover, one of the cover boys. Or fuck yeah, really? Filipino cuties. Or fuck yeah, <laughs> Filipino boys, or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, we'd be like, damn, fucking Tumblr ass. The what ill threads the, era, dude. What is the what is the con? What, what, explain to me what this is. Is it like you a, have to just Google swag of peanut. Uh, it's it, it's just this, you know, the 2010, 2011 swag era when people were in. Dude, Josh okay. was like two during that time. I was in <laughs> high gotta, school. Chill. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing the fucking, uh, you know, different color skinny jeans, the raccoon tails, the obey hats, mm. uh, ill threads mm, was okay. popular among Filipinos in that. Uh, obey. And it was just a Tumblr. Uh, but yeah, Tumblr was, themselves? yeah, you know, Tumblr was like, fuck yeah, insert any fandom. Something, yeah. Dot Tumblr.com. Damn, nah, you were really Tumblr. too young to Tumblr. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm sorry. But yeah, Tumblr would be like, yeah, fuck yeah, community. And then you'd like get all the stuff from the TV show community. Okay. Right. But I there would be like, that. fuck yeah, Filipino cuties. And it'd just be like, Filipino boys doing this. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and I couldn't do it. Yeah, this couldn't crazy. be crazy. And then That's one cute of our as hell, Sean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did you do those poses, Sean? I did. <laughs> Were you well, guilty? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took them ironically. Uh, mm, yeah, but, interesting. But you okay. could, you yeah. could, you know, if you're not in the friend group, it definitely looks serious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh. oh man. Anyways, um, thank thank you for making us feel old, Sean. Ah, uh, fuck. I am old, so who cares? Uh, <laughs> anyways, next story. This one is cross posted by one of the goats outside Flamingo two four six. Cross posted from r slash Petty Revenge, and uh, they wanted me to read this. So the title is "Someone Talked Down to Me, So I Got Her Fired." She was from the HR department. Mm. So this was back in 2019. I had worked at a call center for two years and I took phone calls, trained people, worked overtime. Sometimes they'd even just have me walk around and answer any of my coworkers' questions. They scored our calls and I never received below a 90. Now for Amy, Amy had only been working for about a year. She instantly disliked me because I dress a bit alternative, professional, but alternative. I was on some new medication for my funky little brain and it didn't react well. It made me more blunt. I know the feeling. Um, A customer was arguing with me saying I was stupid for not giving them a promotion item that was not going on. So I told them flat out that I was right. She started screaming. So I said, I'm not taking abuse and hung up. Seemed reasonable at the time, right? If I was right, there wouldn't be a story. But I got called in the next day and they fired me for hanging up without a warning. 
Oh, shit. Uh, on the first call? That's on the crazy. first call. I told them I'm on new meds because I'm bipolar, so they couldn't fire me for that. But they needed paperwork provide, uh, proving I'm bipolar. Fair enough. Then comes three months of calling numbers, getting things sent out only to have Amy tell me that they didn't receive anything. When we had meetings, she would talk down to me, tell me being good at my job didn't matter because I was only still there because of my, quote, excuse with your meds. She even ignored two of my managers saying I deserve to stay because I was great at working. She kept on saying my paperwork was lost. Later, we were all work from home. So I decided to move and she found out, telling me she had to approve it before I did so and that she would approve it. I moved and about two weeks later, she broke me. She had scheduled me for three 12-hour days in a row, which I had said I cannot work those in a row. Oof. Amy told me I needed to show up or there would be actions taken against me. I got online and started working. At lunch, I logged off and sent an email to everyone saying that I had, a great, I had great managers and coworkers and it was a great job, but sadly, I just couldn't stay because Amy was making my job rough. I named her in that email. <laughs> I logged off and went to sleep. I got a call the next day from the head of HR begging me to come back, saying that Amy decided to, quote, leave for a different opportunity. Bitch got fired. <laughs> and said we could discuss a race. I said thanks, but no, and never looked back. Never thought I'd share this, but after listening to r slash videos for so long, I figured I should add my own. And now it's on r slash Reddit on Wiki. <gasps> wow. Um, much more popular, too, right? Very much more popular. <laughs> uh, too long, didn't read. HR woman was rude and condescending. I quit. Blaming her as the reason, HR fired her and tried to rehire me. Hell yeah. Maybe I'm just a fucking poor, but if they offered me a promotion, I'd probably be like, and fired that lady? I might come back. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? And if I was OP, girl, I would have gone to like some like local, like you, like not a union, but like a, a rep or something. Right. That's one. That's wrongful termination. Two, that's discrimination for uh, your condition. Yeah. And three, that's retaliation for because she didn't like you and didn't fuck with you. So she scheduled you those, you know, bad schedules. Not only would you probably have gotten a raise, you probably would have got some substantial in the form of check. Hundred company, so I'm just saying. John with the knowledge, lot money. Yeah, see, this I'm is. I'm just saying. This is the issue with John reading these stories. I, I like it when when he's read the story because then he just pops off. Uh, <laughs> 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 so next HR story, address it to Sean to read to John. That's how it should be. True, <laughs> that makes sense. And and speaking of that, uh, Muwali B commented on our subreddit, and I sent this to the boys right, oh, yeah. and uh, it's been posted in our story. <laughs> Uh, I've been part of the group that's been humbled. So they asked a question, who is John? Who <laughs> is John? Oh, yeah, because somebody, who is, so what was the title of this? Oh, yeah, they put, would love to hear John talk about this. Yeah. So outside Flamingo said, would love to hear John talk about this, essentially. And uh, and again, we're going to go back. Sean already kind of alluded to it earlier, but shout out to first per Sean Energy. He put, of course, John is the one of the hosts for Reddit on Wiki Podcast. The show that that this subreddit was created for. <laughs> That's Midscore subreddit, by the way. Um, he works in HR, which is why the person who cross posted this story mentioned they'd like to hear this take on it. And uh, uh, I feel attacked for all the five upvotes for who is John. And I now I know was what Sean them. feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know, John. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly yeah, never you. mad when I see it. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Have, has there been a who is Josh? I guess. The issue oh, we is need to look for that. The issue is they're not addressed to me, right? They're just am I the asshole stories. That's so, true. So you're the asshole guy. I'm just the asshole guy. <laughs> you're just automatically the asshole guy. I did see a nice yeah. Josh comment recently though. Did you? I don't know did if you? you saw that, Josh? What did you say? That's wild what that you say? saw it. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know how I saw it. Uh but somebody was like, Oh, people like Josh deserves so much credit because he edits it in such a remarkable way. Oh, like, as he should. It's like the YouTube videos are impeccable, blah, blah, blah. Much better editing than I've seen with other podcasts. He, wow. he, he edits it in a way that everybody gets shine. And I was like, man, Josh. That's I'm, our boy right there, bro. <laughs> I've been saying. He might be the white devil, but we fuck with him heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate whoever that was. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm glad you like my editing. I, I've never watched many of the other videos. I only listen uh, to the, some of the other like 
uh, po- Reddit Similar podcast. Similar shows. Yeah, so I don't actually know their video editing style, which is probably I should probably look at them just to see, but I've never looked into it. So uh, thank you. Yeah. Well, before we go to the amazing Underbaki's brand new, uh, what do you call that? Brand new segment that they created. We'll be right back with a few ad breaks. So, you know, we can pay Josh because he does such a great job of editing these episodes and videos. So we'll be right back, Wikimaniacs. And we're back. All right. So amazing. The amazing Underbaki created a new segment for us for this very beautiful month of November. So uh, the segment is called, is this poster okay? Okay. So (laughs) is this poster okay? So I was hoping segment, it'd be like a no nut November. <laughs> like, does this person nut? <laughs> I already failed, baby. <laughs> and it's only the first oh, little God. month. Wait, what the fuck? We're recording this on day one. <laughs> yeah. And you worked all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you went straight from working to recording. How did you? Were you doing this while we recorded? <laughs> it's called breaks, baby. <laughs> Um, Giant, tell us w- the truth. And I wake Shut up really up. early, guys. <laughs> Get my, my face started. God. <laughs> Holy I'm just shit. kidding. It's a joke. It's a bit at this point. Anyway, or am I? Uh, yeah, anyways. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice recovery, uh, but was it? <laughs> was it? So for this segment, your boys will read two posts from the cringiest parts of the internet and be faced with the ultimate question. Is this poster okay so it's very similar to uh this segment is this does this guy fuck but uh the amazing underbaki got these stories from r slash unpopular opinion so excited to hear your thoughts about these ones yeah let's get to it all right post number one it's not gross for old men to be attracted to or look at young women okay hear me out uh. <laughs> I'm going to make an important distinction here. I've seen posts elsewhere recently in which college age girls were ranting about how gross old men were. And then the, and they parentheses by their estimation, anyone over the age of 30. As someone Correct. who's pushed. Yes, you're old age of 30 years old. Um, as someone <laughs> who's pushing 40, obviously this stings a little. Ostensibly. They seem to want to be saying that it's gross for old men to flirt with them. But these rants always devolved into hating gross old heads uh, who apparently all have young girls slash barely legal fetishes and look at that sort of porn, etc, etc. They want this stopped. Never mind that what they like to look at, and then put as long as it's legal, is none of your business. You don't get to police that. First, I agree that a man who is old enough to be a woman's dad should not attempt to flirt with her. That is gross, obviously. And I agree with them on this point. I certainly would never do that. I'd feel like a fool. I think you do, Loki. Yeah. <laughs> I think you want um, to, though. Yeah. I think you, you want don't, to. You maybe don't because you'd feel like a fool, but I feel like you really like, want yeah, to. Yeah. In general, I think people should only flirt when they have a reasonable chance of actually dating the person they're flirting with. But many of these grossed out girls don't keep, uh, don't keep, don't limit it being flirted with. And they start to talk about the very idea that an old man would even want to fuck them is just ew. Yes. Yes, (laughs) you're right. Yeah, that's the Um, point. (laughs) They don't want to be looked at on a bus or a train or at the mall or at the beach unless the ones doing the looking are young and hot. And no, they don't mean just staring, which is creepy. They mean looking. If a woman or a guy happens to be uh, be hot at age 18, there's going to be looking. It's just natural uh, reaction. Nature does not owe them a world in which gross old men aren't attracted to them. The same nature that makes them want to surround themselves with young, uh, with hot young dudes is the same nature that makes them attractive to 45-year-old men. Again, if said 45-year-old goes up and starts idiotically flirting, yes, that's gross. But if that same 45-year-old turns his head for a moment because you're in freaking bikini or, you know, you're just plain sexy, give him a break. And 30 isn't fucking old. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, the only part I agreed with was 30 isn't old. <laughs> that's yeah, the only the part. Last, that's the last, <laughs> that's the only okay thing. With. Mostly because that hits close to home uh, in a couple months. But uh, oh. yeah, 
dude, the issue with the staring is that the, the women that are being stared at don't know who is going to kidnap assault them, them assault do them, crazy shit. do yeah. something, some shit, right? And so they're allowed to be uh, upset about that. And we should not make that a normal where it's just like, oh, if you're hot, you should be stared at. That's just victim blaming um, mm-hmm. because of who, yeah. like what they look like. What the fuck? Yeah, my thing is some people just like to be hot because they like to be hot. They're not trying to be hot for other people's attention. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like some people, it's like this is like the same logic like oh, women put on makeup, those whores. They want attention. I think they just want to wear they makeup. Do it for this them. is reminding me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for them. This is like reminding me of, sorry, we, I just watched this recently or side watched with Nancy uh, a couple episodes of, uh, what is it, uh, Love is Blind. Oh. That guy was just yeah. like, oh, yeah, you wore makeup. And it's just like, you're wearing too much makeup. And that was like his whole excuse Jesus. for not being attracted to her is because she wore makeup. And he's like, you're so much prettier without makeup. Like, she is doing this because she wants to wear makeup, not because yeah. of oh, yeah. what she wants you to think of her. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the and makeup side note, is for her. Side note, Love is Blind just <laughs> like proves how shallow those people are and that they only care about looks. It does the opposite of what that show is supposed to show. <laughs> yeah. Also, that guy is fucking Satan. I think. Oh yeah. Uh, well, they they really is... only get people who want attention on that show, so they're all yeah narcissistic fucks. Anyway, that was besides Anyways. the point. <laughs> yeah. Um, Same. Yeah. It's, this guy is so wrapped up into being like, yeah, if you're sexy, just. This is what you have to get with it. I don't think that's true. I think you no. can just mind your own fucking business, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, like, I don't know. It's like he's never thought of what it would be like to be a woman and have creepy old men stare at her. Like, yeah, that would be off putting to anyone. Because, yep. um, and I said it already, but like, they don't know what man is going to assault them because it's, I forget what the statistic is, but it's a high statistic that it's going to happen to women, which is awful. And they have to always be on alert for that. And so if we're just like, oh, no, it's fine. You just stare at them. It's like, no, it's not because they're worried for their lives and their safety. Mm -hmm. And if you're just like, oh, we should be allowed to stare at them. You're enabling that shit. So, yeah, totally, (sighs) totally like random, like conversation I had with my boss earlier. But, they, you know, she was like, yeah, I just moved into a new place. So, like, I'm trying to get acquainted, like, uh, none of my like security stuff like is installed yet blah 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 but uh they were just like yesterday there was just like a few people like knocking the neighborhood i'm pretty sure that she was like i'm pretty sure they're just like you know doing their jobs like uh like soliciting like for services or you know like the stuff people do like door to door but she was like yeah one one time like uh, you know someone knocked and i just got really nervous because there were just two guys that were in the front door And then, like, you know, when her boyfriend or her fiance came back home, like, they ended up waiting for for them at the garage, right? And then they said they came back, like, Mm -hmm. the following day, and she was in the restroom, and, the like, a light on her, like, restroom is, like, on. And then you could overhear, like, the the guys in the front door saying, like, oh, someone's definitely home. Like, let's let's knock, right? So she just felt unsafe. Like, she's like, I don't even want to open the door because I know there's, like, two dudes there. Like, I don't even know, like, if they're selling anything or just, just that fear, right. Of just not knowing if something's going to mm-hmm. happen to you, essentially like us guys, we don't experience that as much. We're like, willy nilly be like, Oh yeah. What do you want? <laughs> or like, how can I help you type of shit? Like, yeah, it's just unfortunate that it happens to a lot of women, which is sad. Yeah. Awesome. And this guy clearly just doesn't have the empathy or the thought process no. to be like, yeah, I like, this is what women experience. It's crazy. He just looks at him as like, you know, a piece of me, just like, oh, you're sexy, blah, blah. Like, I'm, you know, but anyways. Um, next yeah. story. Again, cross posted from r slash unpopular opinion. Uh, the title is, or they put, people saying OJ instead of orange juice is unnecessary and annoying. Unpopular <laughs> opinion. I okay. can't be the, this is the same vibe as the fucking, uh, the what do you call that the melt the tuna melt or not the melt grilled melt, cheese grilled cheese yes grilled cheese and melt guy um uh, i yeah, can't be funny the, at least yeah it was, that's true <laughs> we'll see I if this person is yeah i can't be the only one who finds it irritating when people refer to orange juice as oj it seems like a pointless abbreviation <laughs> for a two-word drink name that's already quite short the trend of shortening phrases and words has gone too far when we can't even say two simple words 
Orange juice is a classic beverage, enjoyed by many around the world, and it deserves to be called by its full name. Saying OJ doesn't save much time, and it comes off as trying too hard to be casual or cool. It's as if people are... <laughs> this is wild. I don't think so, but okay, go <laughs> off. Okay, go off. Um, it's as if people are taking a simple pleasure and turning it into something more complicated than it needs to be. I understand that language evolves and the abbreviations can be useful, but I believe there should be a limit. We don't shore in other drink names like apple juice or grape juice. So why do it well. with orange juice? Yeah, that's true. Um, a solid point. Yeah. <laughs> it's just making sense like the fucking hey, uh, melt guy. Let me get guy. that AJ. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, you the got phenomenal. some GJ? You got some GJ? <laughs> it's a small thing, but it's a trend that I find unnecessary and slightly annoying. Why OJ? Do you want to sound cool? Is it so much of a hustle to say orange juice? Do you abbreviate apple juice too? Hey, yeah, let me have some AJ, said no one ever. <laughs> I just think it sounds annoying as fuck. I mean, if we have to choose between like who is worse, obviously the first person, right? Like this guy yeah. is... Oh, yeah. This guy, like... I sort of get it. You know what I mean? The <laughs> second guy, I sort of, I, I'm not angry about it because that's just how things have evolved. It's, was it nomenclature or whatever? It's yeah. just like yeah. a, a, a nickname for orange juice is OJ, you know, and that's how it's always been. It's never annoyed me. That's just a thing. You know what I mean? But he brings up a solid point. No one's calling apple juice AJ. AJ? No one's calling grape juice GJ. GJ. <laughs> Uh, what other juices are there? If I can, I'd be I lying know. if I hadn't said I heard AJ before. I've like never heard juice. AJ before. That's some fucking Canadian shit, though, because <laughs> ain't nobody in America saying, Don't, hey, give me... It's not common, don't get me wrong. AJ. <laughs> but I've definitely heard it. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's... it's. I mean, you're right, but also it I doesn't bother no me that much. there's no other fruit that starts with an O, maybe? What starts there with are a? other fruits that start with apple. Oh, wait. We're talking about apple juice. Uh, fucking <laughs> agave. Agave. I mean, I no, guess. That's a plant. That's not, rare. Really, that's not really a fruit. <laughs> it's a tequila juice, essentially. Yeah, that's tequila. <laughs> agave <laughs> juice is tequila. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That was only because I was thinking like grapes. There's grapes and then there's also guava. Mm. Uh, but yeah, apple. Yeah, you bring up a good point. I don't know what else is. Yeah, I don't know why OJ is a thing, guys, uh, but it is, and I'm not bothered by it. Uh, but I, I do understand this man's annoyance. But yeah, anyways, that's it for the episode today. But before we close it off, boys, any announcements or comments, reviews, Venmos? I would like to read the nice comment for Josh because sometimes I feel oh. like Josh doesn't get it. So I'm going to read it in its entirety. I mentioned Ooh. it earlier this episode, but I found it. Oh, I'm going to wow. read it and then give a proper shout out to uh, the person who wrote it. So this is a YouTube comment from Laxme. They write, Josh, you do a phenomenal job on editing. I'm truly blown away. I'm kind of obsessed with the Reddit podcast on YouTube and yours is by far the best editing that I've seen. Wow. Love all of you <laughs> and all that you do. The chemistry of your friendship is contagious and brings a smile and chuckle every time. Again, props to Josh, especially for the editing, because it truly frames the personalities and lets everyone shine. Keep it up. Y'all are great. Ooh, oh, my that goodness. Is beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Round that, of applause for the white devil for us. That oh, is yeah. truly uh, like one of the best compliments I could ever receive because there are so many amazing like Reddit podcasts out there, especially on YouTube. Um, so I appreciate that so very much. Uh, sometimes it's, it's like, yeah, like, like I see my fuck ups, so I'm pretty hard on myself. So it's, it's nice to see that they don't shine through the fuck ups that I see. Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey Josh, while you're on YouTube, shout out the, the, the new subscribers we got, like how many we got now? Yeah. We just hit 15,000 subscribers <gasps> on YouTube. Uh, Ooh. crazy. Thank you very much. Everyone subscribing there. Um, been blowing up this past year and, and we love that. I've got some merch messages I wanted to read uh, since we released the Ogtha merch, which you can check out. Link in the show notes. Nice. Uh, we've had quite a few people buying Ogtha merch, so <laughs> oh, yeah. I wanted to give those a shout out. Um, so we got one here from Kathleen, uh, who actually didn't buy the Ogtha merch. This was before, but uh, they said, can't wait, to, can't wait to get my hoodie. 
You guys are fab and always love a good laugh or someone to vent with. Lots of love from Bonnie, uh, Scotland. So nice. Scottish. Adriana says, super excited to be rocking this jacket this coming fall slash winter. Thank you guys for everything you do. Uh, keep up the great work. And they bought an Agtha shirt and gave a $20 donation. <gasps> oh, wow. Thank you. Um, yes. Kathleen also gave a $3 donation. Sorry, I meant to, meant to mention that as well. Thank you both. Savannah uh, got some Agtha shirt as well and said, can't wait to rock this Roach merch. Uh, (laughs) I can't believe this shit. Victoria also got Roach stuff and said, I've been waiting for this forever. Happy birthday to me. (laughs) They got a Roach uh, sweater and a t-shirt and donated $3. I hate that they're Uh, framed (laughs) the Roach stuff. What the (laughs) fuck? Natalie says, finally, Agtha merch. You guys seriously help me through so much and always make my day brighter. Thank you for everything you do with a heart. Uh, and they get the Agtha stickers as well as a Get Therapy sweater. Uh, so that's awesome. And then final one, I wanted to hold out on this one. Uh, it's from Nick. And they say, a huge thank you for all that you do on your show and for having my girlfriend, Midscore, along with y'all on this journey. <laughs> Uh, they say keep up the great work and they send uh, $20 along with buying some Og the merch. So oh, <laughs> shout out to Nick. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. scores boyfriend. Uh, oh yeah. That's awesome. Uh, we love to see that. I hope I didn't spoil it if you bought that for, for mid score as a surprise, but Oopsie. hopefully it's there by now because you bought it a couple days ago as we're recording. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the What's his name. Was his name Nick? Nick. Yeah. Nick. I, I think they posted a uh, a story for us before in the past. Oh, right? They? It was like a personal. I think they did. Maybe like, they um, did. I think Mids- Midscore uh, messaged us about it in the past, saying like, "Oh yeah, that's my boyfriend's uh, uh, username <laughs> on Reddit." That's. And I remember oh, they had. Yes. Remember, yes. They had a story. They had a story too when they went on vacation about like how they gaslighted like uh, somebody that they. Their friends. A road, a road yeah. Team. Yeah. So <laughs> shout out Nick, you're part of the the Reddit on Wiki lore, I guess. Hell yeah, I love oh, that. Yeah. Anything else, boys? That's, no, it, for that's me. it. Perfect. Well, just to kind of revisit again the initial um, announcement we had earlier. Again, December second, Saturday, eleven a.m. Central Standard Time. Join us live on YouTube. Full okay, join. So, <laughs> yes. So go on our uh, go on our show notes, our social media page, uh, the event bright. Um, details are going to be there how you can access it again patrons make sure to look out for a message on our patreon page that way you can grab your exclusive discount uh can't wait to see y'all again i'm going to be out for just two episodes i think depending on what time my flight gets back so either two episodes or four episodes we'll see um but i'm gonna miss y'all the boy you guys are in great hands the boys are gonna kill it as as they always do but um if you like what we do consider leaving a review for us on apple podcast spotify or our website, RadarOnWiki.com, or consider being a patron so you get perks like discounted tickets, uh, exclusive access to bonus stories and um, content, rock our merch, like a lot of our Wikimaniacs doing with the Octa merch. And uh, But the cheapest way to really support us is tell your friends about us, tell your family, let them listen to us, like you know, like Midscore and Nick, listen together as a couple. Oh, yeah. And we uh, really appreciate it, everyone. But uh, that is all for today. We'll see you this Friday, or they'll see you this Friday for another Am I the Asshole episode. Till then, toodles, Wikimaniacs. We love you. Love you. Bye, bye, Jain. Have fun in Japan. Bye, Jain. I took off my pants and underwear and climbed into bed with the host's parents. <laughs> oh, no.